Afternoon, and thanks so much for joining us today for Fox 5 News at 4. I'm Christine Spiro. The Lowndes County teen's body was discovered in a rolled up mat in a high school gym back in 2013. Authorities ruled his death a freak accident, but his parents believe he was murdered. Fox 5's Deidre Dukes is live at the Richard Russell Federal Building in downtown Atlanta this afternoon with these newest developments, Deidre. Yeah, the Johnsons making appearance here today with their attorney. They have filed federal lawsuit against the Lowndes County Sheriff's Office and the GBI. They do believe their son was murdered and that the law enforcement agencies are part of a cover up. We're going to continue to keep fighting for Kendrick because his life matters. Ten years after his death, Kendrick Johnson's parents remain convinced their son was murdered. We live there. We know how this, this town is. We know how they'll lie. We know how they'll cover up for one another. Kenneth and Jackie Johnson allege that Kendrick's classmates killed their son, and law enforcement and school officials covered up the crime in January of 2013. Classmates at Lowndes High School in Valdosta found the 17-year-old's body inside an upright mat. Investigators concluded he died in a freak accident, but Johnson's parents say someone killed him. On Tuesday, the Johnsons, joined by their attorney, filed a federal lawsuit against the GBI and Lowndes County Sheriff's Office. Last year, Lowndes County Sheriff Ashley Polk released a synopsis of the case file, saying that investigators have continued to believe the teen's death was accidental and there was no foul play. All the evidence that they collected contradicts both the cause of death on the death certificate as well as the synopsis. The Johnson family disputes the sheriff's conclusions and call the situation a cover-up. As part of the new $1 million lawsuit, they hope to address what they call the materially false information in Polk's summary. What the Johnsons found was that there was materially false information in that synopsis that could have only come from the medical examiner who invented this narrative. And we say invented because there's no evidence to support it. And we heard from a GBI spokesperson this afternoon responding to the lawsuit saying that the GBI medical examiner performed a thorough autopsy in this case and that the agency stands by its initial findings. I also reached out to the Lowndes County Sheriff's Office and we have not heard back. That's the latest here in downtown Atlanta. Deidre Dukes, Fox 5 News. Right, we'll see if this lawsuit leads to any answers for this family. Deidre, thanks so much.